Hello everyone, Dusty Flyguy here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install CS2 on Mac. So this will be paid, but there's a free 14-day free trial. And let's get started. There is another requirement that your Mac needs to be silicon. So that's M1, M2, M3, M4, or NOAA. And basically, you just want to either get the free trial or purchase a license. And I'm just going to sign in, press downloads, click on crossover Mac, whatever the newest version is, download that. Or you can install the free trial. Like I said, you get 14 days free, and then it will remove it. All right, press allow. All right, and now it's downloads. You can press downloads, open in Finder, drag and drop that into applications, open it. It will warn you that it's an app download from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Just press open anyway. All right, and basically it will ask you to either enable the free trial or sign in and do either of those. I can't do that again because I've already signed in and I couldn't figure out a way to like delete the data all right now it's going to ask you to either sign in or begin the free trial do whatever you chose and then you can press install and you might be tempted to press the counter-strike here but don't do that we want to download other steam games as well so we press steam and then we can press install should start installing and creating a bottle and basically this will be emulating a windows machine and it will allow us to play the games this is what bell looks like currently she's gone on kind of like a winter coke she's a chartux all right, and it might ask you if you want to install this thing, press yes. It will keep asking you to install things, just press yes, don't worry, it's not dodgy, it's just like Windows dependencies, like fonts and Visual C++ and all of that. There we go, now it's going to ask us for Visual C++, press I agree and install. It should start installing, and then press I agree and install, <laughs> my cat's being really annoying, so I'm picking her up. Press next on Steam, press whatever English, so you can go whatever English. You can select whatever language, for me it'd be English or Espanol, whatever. Press install. And then you can run Steam. Here's where you'll need to sign in, so I use Steam Guard, so I gotta grab my phone. Alright, I'm back and I can sign into Steam using Steam Guard on my phone. This is just the preferred way for me to sign in. And also what we should do while that's happening is go back into our bottle. Make sure we press D3D Metal and M-Sync. Basically we can press Reboot and it should restart the Steam app. We need to do this so that it renders properly, otherwise you get bad frame rates. But it's really up to you, you can select the other ones if you want. Actually you just maximized chat, don't want to do that. Alright, but now that we are in Steam, what we can do is press the... We can search for CS, so I know it's my most recently played game, so I can just press install here. And it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to show some gameplay once it's finished installing. Also keep in mind I am playing this at 1440p and recording it at 1440p at the same time. Which of course does degrade performance a lot. But the good thing is if you want to you can like spectate matches and that should compile most of the shaders for you. I always do that. And that usually helps with performance. Again if you're hearing weird audio issues open up the Audio Might I app and that should fix it. There's also some weird mouse issues sometimes. I haven't really figured out a, a fix for that, but some people say you can switch your mouse to a low DPI and that fixes it. If you can only see how blue. And that dude's gonna sing. All right, we are in, we're at the warm up. You can see it is actually running pretty well, all things considered, given I'm recording at 1440p. Aside from the stuttering, which is a shader compiler, it's running good. Australian CS, CS servers, you gotta love them. Oh, I actually got a kill. <laughs> I know this is a warm up, but <laughs> the way my game's performing. Oh, there we go. Alright, we are in the actual game. As you can see, it's running at 1440p and it's running pretty well. This is on an M4 of 24 gigs of RAM, using around 13 gigs of RAM. Again, I'm on Magic Mice, so I'm not great. And then there's this performance. Again, your performance will be better. It's just because I'm recording. I actually got a kill. Brick. I tried. I got a single kill. Let's go. Quick note, if you want this FPS HUD, I made a tutorial. I'll link that in the description as well. It is built into macOS, you just need to enter a command to enable it. Oh, that was cheeky. Alright, well that will have to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.